It's not just the counterculture which seeks its tazes, its nomad encampments, and nights of liberation from the consensus. Self-organized and autonomous groups are springing up amongst every class and subculture. Vast tracts of the Babylonian Empire are now virtually empty, populated only by the spooks of mass media and a few psychotic policemen. Taz Theory realizes that this is happening. We're not talking about should or will be. We're talking about an already existing movement. And so we've had to consider the fact that not all existing autonomous zones are temporary. Some are, at least by intention, more or less permanent. Certain cracks in the Babylonian monolith appear so vacant that whole groups can move into them and settle down. Certain theories, such as permaculture, have been developed to deal with the situation and make the most of it. Villages, communes, communities, even arcologies and biospheres, or other utopian city forms are being experimented with and implemented. Even here, however, Taz theory may offer some useful thought tools and clarifications. What about a poetic, a way of making, and a politique, a way of living together for the permanent Taz or Paz? What about the actual relation between temporariness and permanence? And how can the Paz renew and refresh itself periodically with the festival aspect of the Taz? <laughs> 